Okay, hi everyone. <coughs> uh, this video, well, this live stream today is going to be about how to put your own car uh, into drivable cars using the uh, Physic project. So uh, let's say you've already got your uh, car model, you know, rigged, modeled, uh, textured, and all that. By the way, if you've watched uh, my previous videos, you know how I rig my vehicles already. So I'm gonna focus on on the engine part. So okay, first of all, you're gonna have to open up the physic asset. <clears throat> Make new bodies for all four wheels. This field is alright. Cool. You're gonna have to select all of these and then, then scale them to be round. What is going on? Much better. See that's it should do that by default. Create a body for every every bone. So Everything other than the body and the wheels <coughs> shouldn't have any body in the physic asset. So you just select the doors and steering wheel, hit delete, because these will be used in the animation blueprint. So we don't want these to be simulating physic. So there again, select all four wheels, scale them down to be round instead of capsules. That looks great, okay. <clears throat> For the body, we're gonna use a single convex hull to get collisions. It looks something like our mesh. Now there's a bug, uh, a bug in 4.15 that the uh, auto convex collisions won't show. <clears throat> so you just have to move the gizmo a little bit to uh, get him to generate then you can move them back where they belong. <clears throat> Just wait for it to uh, unfreeze. It's gonna take a few seconds. All right. Now, if you in the constraint, you're gonna want to delete all of the constraints because we're gonna handle these in the blueprint, and we don't want any conflict happening. Okay, no more constraints. And then select everybody's and just go, go here. Position solver, that will be 80. And velocity solver, that will be 11. We want to use CCD. And I think that's about it. Okay, so our physic asset is finished. We can now go into the master folder and create a child blueprint, <coughs> which we're going to call DP Plymouth. And we're going to move this to the Plymouth folder. That was the skeletal mesh, not the blueprint. Oops. Yeah, uh, while I'm here, I'm just gonna put some glass. Cool, just so that we can see the inside for no, no real reason. Then open up your new blueprint. Okay, now what you wanna do is you wanna select the mesh and replace it with your new vehicle mesh like so. Then go into the physic tab of the mesh and also replace the physic asset to the one you just created. Now you can also select the driver, go into rendering, make it visible and place the mesh properly. You're probably also going to need animations specific to that car for your driver, but I'm not gonna get into that today. Okay, at least it looks to be in the right position. Uh, 
then what you want to do is go into BB Play Mouse here, then find your will array here. Make sure you have the right names. So if we open up Physic Asset, you can see uh, I always use the same names, so I don't need to change them in the array. But you're probably gonna have to change them if uh, if you don't use the, the name I use. Uh, then we want to select just one wheel. You into primitive capsule zero and copy the radius. <clears throat> That's very important because the radius of the wheel is used onto the speed calculation for the drifting and the gear changing. So we want to be sure to have the exact correct radius for our wheels. And uh, okay, let's say I leave it like that and place the blueprint here. All right, you can see I can push the car around. Uh, it's very lightweight, very, very lightweight which is not what we want. So we're gonna tweak the physic asset some more. Uh, I believe for the Camaro, if I can just find, okay. I believe for the Camaro, I had something like a thousand for the body and something like 15 for each wheels. <coughs> Too much tweaking I forgot now if you go back into the uh, Camaro default car you can basically copy and paste the whole graph instead of plugging everything back up so you can right now I'm just gonna copy and paste that to be able to move the camera and have the uh, additional gravity applied because that's happening on server tick so <clears throat> okay all right now i can move the camera i won't be able to get out because i didn't plug that input just yet I think the suspension could be weaker than that. So let's go here. Suspension strength here. Let's put that at 5,000. EV ply mount. Okay. just like you would do for the default vehicle class. Except there's a few more, so just copy that from the Camaro and paste it in here, like so. And of course I, okay. <laughs> yeah, don't paste it on top. Okay, and now that should allow me to have all the functions working, throttle, brake, and etc. And it does. Okay. So you can see suspension is working. It's a little stiff still. See the handbrake, the smoke. I can also get out of the car. <laughs> it's 
So yeah, pretty simple. Now I did not add a passenger onto this one. So I'm gonna do that now. I can add child actor. I'm gonna name it passenger underscore zero one. Uh, and to the child actor class, you can select BP passenger, which is located in the master class folder. And you can just place the camera to about where you want it. And then play with the collision offset. Okay. All right, collisions look to be about right. Good. So now I'll be able to, uh, oh shoot, <laughs> I did not center the camera on the seat, so I'm gonna have to redo these offsets. Okay, cool. <clears throat> and so now this car is also gonna have a passenger. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry about my uh, throat. It's having a, a few issues. Okay, so other than a, a bit of tweaking that you'll have to do for every car, uh, that's that's how you do it. You now have a fully functional car, which you can get in and out of, just like the Camaro. Suspension is working, etc. So uh, yeah, that's it. Now you can hit tab and start tweaking the car until it feels right and uh, set these values onto the blueprint. I guess I should probably expose the weight of the car somewhere in that widget in the future. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for now that's going to be it. And that widget should have been destroyed. Weird.